Uh, hello, uh, very very quick and very very dirty video about uh, how to properly make the tail texture for the Aerosoft Airbus. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we have uh, basically the tail is divided into two parts: the vertical stabilizer itself and the rudder itself. Uh, for what I wanna do is to is to make uh, make the make sure that the logo which overlaps both of two, both of these two is uh, shown correctly. I have found out that the difference is exactly 55 pixels. So what I am going to do is just do some random shape. Let's say let's let's take the light bulb. So I'm going to make a light bulb to fit. Uh, also, let's move it a bit. Align it about. Uh, align it as it is on uh, this part on the vertical stabilizer on the real airplane. Let's make it about so. Let's say my airline, smart airline or ID airline, has a logo that fits the vertical stabilizer about here. Now, I'm, what I'm going to do is. Uh, I cannot really see it, so. What I'm going to do is to is to du duplicate this layer. I'm going to make two copies. I will hide the original so I can uh, refer to it if anything goes wrong. Both of these two copies, I rasterize them. Now I take one of those and using for example uh, transform uh, where is it oh, it's not here let's use free transform for example I will select uh, the anchor point to be on the left side and move the x axis uh, 55 points to the right let's make let's see Let's make 455 pixels, as you can see here, plus 55, that is 510 pixels. 510 here, and you can see that, uh, that the whole thing has, has moved. Okay, apply the transformation. Now what I'm going to do is to cut these two parts uh, somewhere in the middle between the stabilizer and the rudder itself. So what I'm going to do is, I think the best tool is the polygonal lasso tool. Just select the one. This one is the is the one that is on the rudder. So I'm going to delete the part that is on the vertical stabilizer. Just delete it like that. Now hide this, show that. And again I'm going to delete the part that is on the rudder because the part that is on the vertical stabilizer will be shown. And like that. Now, if you show both of these, you can see that they are approximately 55 pixels one from the other. And if you try to use guides or so, you will see that uh, it's more or less fits where the, where the rudder would be covered by the sorry, <coughs> by the vertical stabilizer and you can you can take your RDI line flight and you will see that in the simulator it will look uh, very very good uh, if you want to see an example I will I will show you how this how this looks in my seagull repaint you can see that it looks very very similar uh, if I take especially if I take the blue part off you can see it very well let's use the guide and you can see that it fits about so <coughs> Thank you.
Uh, if you want to see how it see how it looks in the simulator itself, you can download my uh, my Siegler repaints at Aerosoft site as well as on Arsene. Uh, so good luck with your painting. Uh, if you have any questions about the other parts of the paint kit or maybe some other paint kits that I use, for example, the Majestic paint kit or I don't know NGX something, just write me a message and I will try to help if I if I can.